All right, let's see how you did with this one. If you used the foundational statement, which again, I highly recommend, then this problem would be rewritten as 10. And let me rewrite it this way first so we can see what happened. 10, add the opposite. So it becomes 10 plus a positive eight, which then becomes just 10 plus eight, which is 18. Feel free to try more of these. Um, there are examples in your textbook. But let's look at now why this becomes so important. Because now you're going to get a combination of things. You're not just going to get two simple answers. You might get one that looks more like this, where you get a string of things where you say, OK, I've got negative 31 minus negative 16 plus 10 minus 17. So just like with addition, we would add these two at a time. But unlike addition, it does matter the order when you have addition and subtraction. So what I'm going to do to take out all confusion is I'm going to go in and I'm going to apply what I know about subtraction. So if I move from left to right, I come to this first one, negative 31 minus negative 16. I can change that to addition by saying add the opposite. If you say the entire phrase, you will make sure you do both things. I keep moving from left to right, and I come to this 10 minus 17, so I do add the opposite. Now it's clear to me what's positive, what's negative, and I can either begin to add these in order, two at a time, or I can reorder this and put all my negatives together and put all my positives together. So I, just for argument's sake, I'm going to put my negatives together. So I got negative 31 plus negative 17. Then my positives are positive 16 plus positive 10. And we talked about that property of why you can do that. So now I can simply say negative 31 plus a negative 17 is negative uh, 48. And then positive 16 plus positive 10 is 26. Now, again, I can go on and I can say, all right, 48 minus 26 is going to be 22. And since the 48 is negative, the answer is going to be negative. This is one way to do this problem. The second way you could approach it is just to go ahead, and I'll rewrite it here, just to go ahead, keep it in its original order, and just add straight across. So I could do these two first, which is going to give me negative 15 plus 10 plus negative 17. Then these two, I'll do negative 15 plus a positive 10, which is going to be a negative 5 plus a negative 17. And then negative 5 plus negative 17 is negative 22. It doesn't matter which way you do it. And you'll see me more than likely do it the second way. And we'll call this option B as the way to solve it. Um, but it really doesn't matter. Whatever you're more comfortable with in terms of how you like to tackle your arithmetic, given the fact that you won't be able to use a calculator. So I'm going to give you some problems to try on your own. And then I'll see you in the next section.